All right, just a quick video because it's past midnight and I kept getting this error making me go crazy. So I have a load balancer and this is the load balancer URL and load balancer is sending the traffic to a Lambda and I kept getting this 502 bad gateway. Uh, so if I go to the Lambda, this is the Lambda, it's simply returning hello world. So if I test it, it's hello world. Uh, but this is the load balancer URL. If I do this, I get 502 bad gateway. Uh, so if I go to load balancer, uh, this is the load balancer. I named it insecure because uh, the traffic is coming to HTTP port 80. Even if the traffic was coming to HTTP port 443 or HTTPS, you will have the same thing. And the traffic is being forwarded to this test one target group. So if I open this, um, you will see the registered target is this Lambda, basically this Lambda. So once you do that, you keep getting this 502 bad gateway. And then I Googled how to fix this and I got into this AWS page, troubleshoot the HTTP 502 errors when the target is Lambda. And then it gives some things that is, this is not happening with my thing, right? Because my response is not one megabyte, timeout, uh, and then a Lambda function return error, the function was throttled. Okay, so this is the reason if you are returning response to an application load balancer, the response needs to be in a specific JSON format. Instead of just sending hello world, the application load balancer expects the response in a JSON like this. Is base64 encoded false, status code 200, status description 200 okay, headers content type application slash JSON, and then the payload. The payload must be in the body. So now I'm saying hello world in the body and then with all this field, I'm going to deploy this. So if I test this, it gives the whole JSON back. So now let's go and refresh this. Here we go, hello world. It's solved, I'm making this video because it's past midnight and I have been trying this for like one hour. And finally I ran into a sample code which showed the JSON and then I tried with the JSON and then it worked. That's when it got solved, all right. Like I said, quick video. Uh, if this was helpful, like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, talk to you folks later. Bye.